welcome back everybody welcome back i'm here in the garage i brought back some boats from the shop this is the hydroplane that uh the first one that we've been running and testing and these are the rest of the parts that i have pulled out of the mold except for one i actually have two of these um and a third one it's still in the, well in the process but i have two of these at the moment and the reason i didn't bring the other one is i'm doing a little something to it i'm actually working on a type of flood chamber for it so hopefully that'll work and if it does we'll have a self-riding version of this mini hydroplane and to be honest these little boats without a self-riding feature they are not as fun to drive they're you're not able to push them to their limit. I mean, you kind of are, but you're, you have to make sure that you have your rescue boat just pretty much ready to go. And you're, con you're constantly worried about having to rescue it. So the self-riding on these little hulls, like the mini Dom, like the mini scored, make a big, big difference, make a big difference because the small ripples in the water, the speed the boat is going, you know, per scale, it's, it's insane. So the self-writing version does make a hell of a lot of better fun, honestly. So we're going to try that out. I'm going to build the self-writer, the self-writing hull and build it out. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it works and we'll have a self-writing version of this mini hydroplane. Anyways, in the meantime, we have these. I'm going to build these three out as almost ready to run kits. This one right here, I am sending to Rob Warden who uh, helped me out with a really awesome prop box. I'm sending this to him as a kit. So he is gonna get all his parts, his motor, his ESC, motor mounts, everything. Uh, and he'll have to put them in himself. He'll have to drill the holes. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a template for the transom, for the sponson, and for the stuffing tube so that he can drill those holes where they need to be and not have to worry about it too much. With that said, Here's the version that I'm selling as a almost ready to run kit. So basically what you're going to get is you're going to get it as you see here. You're going to get a motor. You're going to get an ESC. You get a smaller motor actually. The ones I have, this motor is a little, just too heavy for this boat, you know. A 20, this one is a 2858. Uh, we got some 2835s to throw in the, in the rest of these holes. Anyways. You'll get everything epoxied in, everything ready to go. All you need to do is just add your battery, add your receiver. The boat is waterproof. You'll put your hatch on, tape your hatch up, throw in the water, and uh, she should run pretty much just like she's been running in my videos. So if you want one of these, contact me. We can work something out. Uh, you know, we can figure out payment and you know how you want to do it. I mean, what kind of way you want to go about it do you want a kit like rob's do you want it almost ready to run or do you want to just get an empty hull and do it yourself just uh let me know i guess you know i appreciate all the feedback that you guys have given me on this uh on this project it's been uh it's been an awesome road it's been very fun it's been very frustrating at times but uh for the most part looking back it's been really really fun and which is why i'm taking it a step further and doing the self-writing version of the boat so I'll keep this video short. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm going to start working on these, sending them out. I'm going to send this one out to Rob tomorrow and uh, we'll take it from there. If anybody wants it, my email is in my profile and I'll put it in the description and um, just s shoot me an email. We can chit chat. We can uh, talk. talk. Again, I'm having brain farts. We can talk shop and see what the best option for you is and we'll take it from there. But for the most part, I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate everybody tuning back in and all the new subscribers. Thank you very much. And um, that's it. See you next time.